Hello everyone, and welcome to the Blue Cube channel. Today in Adobe Animate, you'll learn about various methods for animating text. This tutorial will help you create creative and engaging motion text to add more flair to your videos. There are many ways to animate text, but I'll teach you a few of them in this video. For the first example, I'll select the text tool, click, and write my name, Arash, in English letters. Using the free transform tool, I'll hold the shift key and make it larger. In the align panel, I'll center it both horizontally and vertically. I'll first click the align to stage option so the text is centered on my stage or document. In the properties panel, I can change the text color if I need to, but for now, the color is fine. Now, I'll right click on the text and select break apart. As I mentioned in the previous lesson, this creates each letter as a separate object. If I select the letters again, right click, and choose break apart one more time, each letter will be converted into a graphic object. I can then select each letter individually and change its color. You'll notice that the text settings are no longer available, and each of these letters has become a graphic object. Next, I'll select all the letters again, right click, and choose Distribute to Layers. This will create a separate layer for each letter. For example, the letter A will have one layer, R will have another, and so on. I'll then move to frame 45, hold the left mouse button to select the frame, and choose Insert Keyframe to create a keyframe for all layers. Then, I'll go back to frame 1. I'll right click here and select Create Classic Tween. A warning will pop up saying that to apply a classic tween to text, you must first convert it to a symbol. So, I'll click OK. You'll see that all the frames in this layer turn purple. I'll repeat this for all the other layers, right click and classic tween. Now, I'll move the slider to frame 1. I'll click on the letter A and place it here, rotating it slightly. I'll select the letter R, rotate it a bit, and place it up here. I'll do the same for the other A, rotating it slightly and placing it at the top. I'll select the H, rotate it a little, and place it off stage. Finally, I'll tilt the letter S and move it to the bottom. If I play it now, you can see that all the letters fall into their correct positions. I'll play it again. So, we've created a simple text animation, but there's still more to do because this animation is uniform, and as you can see, the letters move at the same speed. To make it look better, I'll click on the initial keyframe. In the frame section, I'll click on Classic Ease and choose Ease and Out. This option is suitable because, as I've taught before, it starts slowly, then accelerates quickly, and finally, the letter settles into its place gently. I'll select this option and be sure to double-click on it. I'll repeat this for the other keyframes. I'll select this keyframe, and it turns blue. In the frame section, I'll click, select ease in out, and choose this speed graph. You must double-click here, a single click won't work. I'll select the next keyframe, go to the frame section, and again choose Ease In Out and the Quart option. I'll continue doing this for the rest of the keyframes. After repeating this process for all the letters, let's see what happens when I play it now. You can see that it creates a much more interesting animation. Next, I add additional frames and use the Insert Keyframe option. This allows the letters to remain in their final positions for a longer duration. Now, if I press Ctrl plus Enter, it will run. Let me move this letter a bit higher so it's off the stage. I'll also move the letter S off the stage. Now I'll press Ctrl plus Enter or select Test from the Control menu. You can see how beautifully the animation plays. 
This was one of the methods I taught you. You can create different animation styles based on your own preferences. Next, I'll quickly create a new document. Whenever you type a word with the text tool and then, for example, want to create a keyframe in frame 20 and change the word Arash to another word, I'll type ATR. Then, I'll create another new keyframe further along and type YouTube. Now, if I go back to frame 1 and press play, you can see that the text changes over time. You can also use this technique to change your text. I'll create a new document again from the file menu to teach you another type of text animation. This time, I want to use blur or alpha effects. I'll write the word Arash again, as it's my name. After typing the text, I'll make it a little larger and center it. In the Properties panel, I'll add some spacing so the letters aren't too close together. I'll right-click and select Break Apart. I'll repeat this action so each letter becomes a graphic object. I'll change the color of the letter A to show that we can change the colors here. Then, I'll select them all again and choose Distribute to Layers to create a separate layer for each letter. Now, for example, I'll go to frame 45, drag the left mouse button, and click Insert Keyframe to create a keyframe. I'll go back to frame 1 and change the color of the A back to black so its color only changes to red on the last frame. Now I'll right-click and select Create Classic Tween for each letter. Now, with all the letters selected in frame 1, I'll move them back slightly. Using the free transform tool, I'll make the letters much larger, holding the Shift key to make them this big. Now, let's see what happens, the letters gradually get smaller, and the color of the letter it changes at the end. I'll play it. Well, I want to clear some of the extra keyframes so the animation happens faster. Now, a very short animation has been created. I'll make the timeline a little larger. I'll select this layer and move it forward a bit, and I'll do the same for the other layers. In frame 1, I'll select the letter south and also place it off stage. I'll go to the last frame and press insert keyframe. Now, watch what happens if I play it, a cool animation is created for us. Now, while in frame 1, I'll click here and go to the frame section. In the filter section, I can open the filter and choose, for example, the blur effect. I'll give it a value of 10. You can see that the letter S is slightly blurred and gradually returns to its normal state. I can activate the blur effect for all the letters and give them a value of 10. So, in this way, the letters are blurred at the beginning and gain clarity at the end. I'll play it. I'll add a few more frames to the work so the letters stay on the screen longer, and I'll press Ctrl plus Enter so you can see the final result. This is how we can create different animations using these options. And so, this video comes to an end. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to practice all the steps yourself, creatively change some of the options, and use different effects to get different results. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. Until the next video, goodbye for now.